Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss multiple cursors in one PL SQL block. See, uh, cursor is basically used to handle uh, those SQL queries which fetch more than one records. These are the cursors like uh, uh, you need to use explicit cursor to handle only those queries which fetch more than one records in PL SQL. Now, cursor uh, creates a context area and we can have multiple cursors as well in one PL SQL block. Uh, here is a question like display employees information in two parts who earn first part is less than the average salary and second part is more than the average salary. So, using multiple cursors that means using two cursors we can have this output in one PL SQL block. To go ahead with, first of all let us see what is the average salary of employees from employees table. My query is select average of salary from employees and the average salary is uh, you know 6461 plus. So, let us have the employees list in two different parts those who have uh, salary above this amount and the other one those who have salary below this amount. Now, look at this program, here I am declaring two cursors, cursor C1 as well as cursor C2. So, here cursor C1 is select star from employees where salary uh, less than select average salary from employees. Here I am using uh, one sub query, uh, here one more cursor is there wherein cursor C2 is select star from employees where salary is greater than. Uh, the sub query select average salary from employees, finally ordered by salary. Now see friends, by using these, these two queries in two different cursors, uh, we can get above average salary as well as below average salary. In the begin block, I am using these two cursors in two different loops. The first one is for i in c1 loop and the second one is for i in c2 loop. So, when I run this program, I should be able to get two outputs, first one is employee with below average salary and the second one employees with above average salary. I will run this program and you could see the output here. There are two parts of this output, first part is employees with the below average salary starting from 2100 up to 6400 and the other part employees with above average salary starting from 6500 up to 24000. So, basically this is how you can use multiple cursors in one PL SQL block. That is little about multiple cursors, thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos, please visit Narish Technologies on youtube.com. Thank you.